away and you throw away that mooch, that roach, that rope, that cord, that magnet that normally attracts sin into your life, you throw it away. And the Lord will see your sincerity. He will know you want salvation. He will know you want the joy of salvation. You turn your back on every kind of sin you have been committing. And you say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. You are the only one that can create in me a clean heart. You are the only one that can give me a clean, saved soul. And tonight will be the day of your salvation. Let me hear a good, good amen. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. And uphold me with thy free spirit so that I'll not go down again. Number one, the present joy. Joy of salvation with righteousness. Number two now. Number two is the peculiar joy of the sick with total recovery. Today, you bring your sickness to the Lord. He takes your sin away. He takes your sickness away. You didn't say amen to that one. It will take your sickness away. It will take your disease away. It will take all those things you are leaning on and they don't totally heal you. It will take you away and give you a brand new life. Look at Mark chapter 2. In Mark chapter 2, it says, when Jesus saw their faith, before this time, they had pain and pressure. No faith. They had, he had paralysis. And he couldn't rise up and walk. He couldn't do anything by himself. He had a pitiable condition. And then he heard that Jesus was in town. Have you heard? Jesus is in Have you heard? The healer is in Togo. You didn't hear? You didn't hear? I heard. I can't hear you. I heard that the healer is here present. And everybody can come to him. And everybody can touch him. The man heard that Jesus was there 
and then he knew the place where Jesus was and he came but he came late they came late they wanted to pass through the door the crowd was overflowing even to the doorstep and he told the man Four men carried that man, or what we were called, a stretcher, to bring him there. And they couldn't enter. And they knew, if we can only get to Jesus, Jesus will take all the paralysis, all the problem of the plague, all the sickness, all the suffering. Jesus will take everything away. But now they came and they were there at the far back and they couldn't come to the front and so they did something that nobody had ever done when you know that Jesus is there every obstacle you'll take out of your sight and so they said what can we do now we go right or is horizontal and then we go left horizontal we try to go forward horizontal we try to go backward horizontal all the horizontal lines were blocked and they couldn't get their way to Jesus when you have tried all the earthly methods horizontally and it did not work why don't you go up vertically and then you'll meet Jesus there And so they opened the room and he picked up that man and he brought that man to Jesus. Tonight, I bring you to Jesus and I bring Jesus to you. And I say, here you are, here is Jesus by your side there. And the moment you connect with Jesus, your healing has come. Your deliverance has come. The power of healing from Christ will touch your life. You will rise up out of that wheelchair. You will drop all those crutches. Strength will come to every part of your life. The internal weakness in your heart will be taken away. And then every part of your joints, every part of your bones, every part of your brain, every part of your blood system, every part of your physical life will taste, will have, will possess, will receive the power of Jesus that heals the sick. When Jesus saw their faith, their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, number one, son, thy sins are forgiven thee. Son, your sins are forgiven thee. I said, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, the man came for healing. 
why do you deal with the sin first? Oh, he says, because sin is the cause of sickness. Look at that man, a smoker. Now he's complaining of a kind of cancer in the lungs. The cause of the cancer in the lungs is the sin of smoking that thing. And Christ will take away the desire for the sin of smoking and then he will heal your lung cancer. Look at that young man there. His brain is scattered. Why? Because he's been smoking marijuana. The sin of marijuana has brought the sickness and the derangement of the brain. And you need to take that marijuana away from his uh, kind of appetite. Thy sins be forgiven thee. And then the healing will come. Look at that person there. He has venereal disease. And venereal disease doesn't, doesn't jump on somebody on the street. It's because of that immoral lie. That immoral lie, the sinful lie, has to be dealt with, and then the sickness, the disease will be taken away. When God created Adam and Eve, there was no sickness, but sin came. And the sin brought the sickness. And we are the offspring of Adam and Eve. And when we come to God, we want healing. You will get healing. Amen. But he will take your sin away. What if he heals you, he doesn't take the sin away? I want you to go back in your mind to your house. As you enter, you see water has flooded the whole ground. And you say, what will I do? I'm going to clean up the ground. But the tap water, the faucet, is running and running and running. And you begin to work. You're mopping the floor. You're cleaning the water. And you clean the water on the ground. And then you say, thank God, all the flood of water is gone. Then you go out. You come back. And the ground is filled with water again. Why? Because the source of that flood on the water has not been closed. The source of our sickness has not been dealt with. The source of our perplexity has not been dealt with. You close the tap so that the water will not keep on running on the ground. That closing of the tap is the stopping of the sinful habit. It's the clearing away of the source of the sickness. And that's why Jesus started with that son, thy sins be forgiven thee. And now look at verse 9. And verse 9 says, Whether it's it easier to say to the sick of the palsy that sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, take up thy bed, and walk. Mm -hmm. 
And then in verse 10, in verse 10 it says, but that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins, it says to the sick of the palsy. Look at verse 11. I say unto thee, the Lord will heal you tonight. At a single word of prayer, he'll take your sickness away. He'll take your sin away, and then he'll take your sickness away. I say unto thee, Arise and take up thy bed and go thy way into thine house. And then in verse 12, and immediately he arose. The problem was serious, but immediately he arose. The problem made him so heavy for men had to carry him to the place. And then immediately Jesus gave the word of healing. Immediately he arose. They carried him there. Now he was healed. And he took up the bed. All the people that were helping him to carry the bed, to carry him, he was as healthy as they are, as healed as they were. And he went forth before them all. In so much that they were all amazed and surprised. And they glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this passion. He was happy. You are going to be happy. He was joyful. You are going to be joyful. The people saw him healed. I will see you healed tonight. All those crutches that you depend upon, everything will be gotten rid of. Look up here. You'll stand up like I'm standing. I said you'll stand up like I'm standing. Look up here. You'll walk like I'm walking. Your eyes will see tonight. You will see like I am seeing. The people brought you here. Look at how strong they were. You'll be as strong as the people that brought you here. And we will say, what a miracle. What a healing. We never saw it on this fashion. You will see what you have never seen. You will have and possess what you have never had and possessed. Recovery for you tonight. Recovery for you tonight. And joy and gladness for the healing you have tonight. <clears throat> We're looking at number three now. Perpetual joy. You know, it's one thing to have a one-day joy at the crusade. It's something to have joy, wonderful joy, for the days of the crusade. After we finish the crusade tomorrow, your joy will continue the following day. After we finish the crusade this week, your joy will continue next week. Next month. Next year. The following year. Joy, joy, joy. Everywhere you go, 
everything that spells sadness will be taken away from your life. Everything that bows your head and bows your back, and you say, I'm in despair, I'm in problem, all that will go. <clears throat> He will give you perpetual joy. The joy of the saints. Any joy that any saint had ever had, you now join the congregation of the saints. That joy will be yours in Jesus' name. When we finish here, on earth and we go up then the Lord will multiply that joy for many many years on ending you'll have eternal perpetual joy of the saints you are saved tonight you're born again today at the return of the Lord, you will remain saved. Remain a child of God. And now, the perpetual joy that we have, the joy that will never end, the joy nobody will be able to take away, that joy forever, that joy perpetual, that joy unending, that joy eternal. Tonight it will begin and it will continue forever and ever. Look at Psalm 16. I'm reading from verse 11. Psalm 16, verse 11. Thou will show me the path of life. Thou will show me the path of life. That's exactly what I've been showing you from the word of God. The path of life. The path of eternal life. The path of everlasting life. The path that leads to the abundant life. I've shown you tonight. All you need to do is to turn around and then take the four steps in the way of life everlasting, life eternal. You cannot say, I don't know the path of life. Now you know, now you know. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Whosoever come to the Father by me, he will find all sufficiency in life. And as you come, and you come to Christ, the way into life eternal, joy will begin. A present joy, a personal joy. And as you continue in the way, that joy becomes also peculiar. That every day in your life, the joy of salvation, the joy of satisfaction continues in your life. And then he says, in thy presence is the fullness of joy. In your presence here, the fullness of joy. And then when we cross over to the other side, when the saints are marching in, you are there with them. I'm there with them. And we're marching with them. Perpetual joy forever. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. That's the joy we're talking about. Personal, present, 
also it's peculiar and now eventually it is permanent and perpetual it's yours tonight wonderful it's yours tonight as you come as you get to the way of the lord and that christ the prince the power of god in man he associates with you he connects with you and you are converted and then joy 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 all the way through in your heart in your life tonight I will have the joy of salvation. Say it for yourself. I will have the joy of salvation. I will have the joy that satisfies. I will have the joy sufficient to take me throughout life, whatever the challenge of life that may come. Forgiveness has come. Freedom has come. Salvation has come. It's bowed and eyes closed. The Lord wants you to make the personal choice of that salvation in the Savior Jesus Christ. It's bowed and eyes closed. You want to come into this salvation that is full of joy. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand there. God bless you there. God bless you there. You want this salvation and the joy that comes with the salvation. Raise up that hand anywhere you are. In the front, in the middle, at the back. On the right, on the left. Salvation is coming now with joy. If you are raising up your hand, please stand up and identify yourself before the God of heaven. You stand up and identify yourself before the God of heaven. He will forgive your sin. Blot out all my transgression. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Raise up your hand and stand up. As we are standing up, tell the Lord over there. Oh Lord, I want all the sorrow of my sin to vanish away. I want all the judgment of my sin to vanish away. Give me forgiveness. Give me freedom so that I will not continue in my sin. And your salvation will enter into me. And I have that personal, present joy of salvation. The Lord do it for you in Jesus' name. I'm praying with you now. Mighty God, merciful God, creator God, compassionate God, all these who are standing here and there online, everywhere, they come for forgiveness and they come for your salvation. According to your promise that can never fail, Forgive them now in Jesus' name. Wash all their sins away. Take the defilement of their sin away from your side. Forgive them and set them free. Give them that salvation. And let the joy of salvation come to them right now. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. We have received. They have received. Everyone that came to you tonight has received that salvation and the joy of salvation. We praise your name because we know you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord, you are saved. Praise the Lord, now you have that salvation. I got the joy that your sins are now forgiven. Keep on standing. Keep on standing. Our counselors will come to you there. Our officiating, uh, moderating overseer tonight will take over now and lead us in this time. And then I'll come back. You'll be healed tonight in Jesus' name. Dans le royaume de Dieu. You are welcome to the kingdom of God. Vous restez debout. Keep standing. Les conseillers, approchez-vous d'eux et aidez-les à remplir la fiche. Counselors, get near them and help them to fill the forms. Rapidement. Quickly. Vous allez derrière au fond. You are there at the back. Ne laissez personne. Do not let someone out of this. Vous mettez vos noms. Write your name. Lettre capitale. Please let that be in capital letters. Vous mettez votre numéro de téléphone. Your telephone number. Vous mettez votre adresse. You put your address. Le quartier. The area. Cela va nous permettre de vous aider. That will help us to help you. Le conseiller fait cela très vite. The counselor, please do that quickly. Aidez-les rapidement, rapidement. Help them quickly. Si vous nous suivez en ligne, vous allez, vous allez voir un lien. Vous cliquez sur le lien et vous allez déboucher sur une page et vous allez remplir et laisser vos coordonnées. If you are following us online, you will see the link. You click on the link. And then you will see the form to fill there, and then you will fill it. Faites cela vite. Do that quickly. Si vous nous suivez sur la radio, la télévision, if you are following us on radio or television, il y a un numéro WhatsApp que vous pouvez aussi. There is a WhatsApp number that Avec you can numéro, also send your information to vous, us. Vous nous vos inform, vos informations. You send your information through that WhatsApp number. Faites cela très vite. Do that quickly. Allez partout. À ma gauche, the counselors go everywhere. Fond, at my left and the deep au milieu, back, in the middle also. À ma droite, my right hand side. Donnez les vraies informations. Please give the correct information. Vous êtes maintenant des enfants de Dieu. You are now children of God. Donnez-nous vos vraies coordonnées. Give us your true information.
Retenez ceci, demain, ici à 14h, il y aura le déjeuner avec Jésus-Christ. Bear this in mind that tomorrow by 2 p.m. there will be lunch with Christ. C'est très important que vous veniez à ce déjeuner avec Jésus-Christ. It's very important that you come to that lunch in, with Christ. Les conseillers, faites vite. The counselors, hurry up. Si vous avez fini, if you have finished, vous me faites signe en soulevant vos petits drapeaux. Please, you can lift up the, your little flag for me to see. Faites cela vite. Do that quickly. À ma droite ici, est-ce que vous avez terminé? C'est fini? À ma droite? My, at my right hand, please, have you finished? Les superviseurs? Les supervisors? Est-ce que c'est fini là-bas à ma droite? Have you rounded up at my right hand? À ma gauche, to my left. Si vous avez fini, faites-moi signe. If you have rounded up, please give me a sign. Ça finit ou bien ça continue? Have you finished or you continue? Okay. Au milieu, au fond. In the middle. Est-ce que c'est terminé? Have you finished there? Le pasteur revient pour prier pour les the malades. The pastor is coming back to pray for the sick. Préparez-vous. Be ready. Soyez prêts. Be ready. You are ready for your healing. It's getting to you there right now. Whatever your challenge, whatever your burden, whatever the sickness, whatever the disease, the Lord will touch you now. The Lord will heal you now. Once we mention the name of Jesus, that name is mighty and powerful. It will take away every burden of your life in Jesus' name. Raise up your hand for your healing. Lay the other hand where you have the challenge. And you must check up when we finish. You must throw away that stick when we finish. You must arise when we finish. And you must check that place where the problem was. The problem will not remain there. God is ready for you now. Healing is available for you now. Get your own. Get your own. Father, in Jesus' name. You are the creator. You are the recreator. And you are the one that heals us. By the stripes of Jesus, we're healed. Whatever the name of the sickness, whatever the name of the disease, I pronounce healing for everyone now in Jesus' name. 
open your eyes and see in Jesus' name. Listen, and you will hear in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and speak out in Jesus' name. Every pain in your body, I command that pain. Come out in Jesus' name. <clears throat> every infirmity, every sickness, every disease, long-standing problem, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. And the evil spirit tormenting your brain, tormenting your mind, by the word of the Lord, I command, come out in Jesus' name. Incurable disease, be healed now. Long-standing problem, be removed now. And every miracle the people of God want, recovery that the people of God want, healing that anyone desires, right now it is done. Miracle, it has happened. Healing, it has happened. Deliverance, it has happened. You have got your own. You have got your miracle. Your healing is already there with you. Lord, confirmation everywhere. Demonstration of miracle everywhere. That your people will know that they are free from sickness and disease right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 It's right there. Check up yourself. Your miracle is there. Que vous êtes guéri. Tu peux pas marcher. Lève-toi, tu marcheras. Vérifiez rapidement. Check up quickly. Voilà, ça se passe là-bas. It's happening there. Ça se passe là-bas. It is happening there. Oui. Yes. Vous voyez la guérison. Vous you voyez que vous êtes guéri. You see someone is healed. Vous dites amen et puis on va se réjouir avec vous. You praise the Lord and we'll rejoice with you. It is happening already. It is done. It is done. It is done. Yes, check up, check up. Check up. Online also, check up. Everywhere the crusade is going on, check up. You see that you have been healed. Quickly. Those who are healed. Begin to come out. Begin to come out. You were not hearing before. You, you've brought someone that is a deaf. Speak in their ears, they will hear. Or it's a dumb, you can open your mouth now and talk. The tongues have been loosed. Yes. The power of God is in the camp. The, the healing power has been released in the camp. Yes, verify. Check up. Examine yourself. Check up. Check up. The Lord is circulating in the camp. Hallelujah. 
Chinaman. Yes, continue to check up. Continue pas vous examiner. Continue to examine yourself. Le Seigneur circule dans le camp. The Lord is going around in the camp. Oui, voilà un bateau en l'air. Yes, I can see the Une béquille en l'air. Crushes up there. Oui, ne forcez pas sa marche. Don't calmement, force calmement, her walking. Le Seigneur est en train d'opérer. Gently, the Lord is walking on her. Oui, sortez. Yes, come out. On va commencer par écouter les témoignages. We'll start taking the testimonies. Écoutons le premier témoignage. Let's listen to the first testifier. Miracle ce soir, elle va témoigner. Gloire à Dieu. Gloire à notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Je vais remercier Dieu pour tout ce qu'il a fait dans ma vie. Dans le mois de, mois de novembre 2022, Jésus-Christ m'a guéri. Je souffrais d'une maladie plus de 15 ans. Mais le mois de décembre, là, j'ai eu la guérison. Je dis, je vais venir lui remercier pour tout ce qu'il a fait dans ma vie. À travers notre père spirituel, j'ai eu ma guérison. Quelle maladie J'ai la maladie de hanche, colonne vertébrale, le cou. Tout est mélangé. Je ne me baissais pas, je ne faisais rien. Mais le mois de novembre, d'ici que 2022, là, j'ai eu la guérison. Je baisse maintenant, je fais tout. Je, oh, sur le terrain aujourd'hui, je ramassais les choses, je baissais, je, je dis gloire à, à Dieu. Il m'a fait, je ne sais comment lui remercier, à travers notre Père spirituel. Que Dieu lui garde en... Il n'a qu'à, il ne va pas mourir même. Il va... Alléluia Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our sister's here name is Gloria. So for about 15 years, she has been suffering from cervical pains and lumbar pains, and she has been feeling a lot of pain. It was difficult for her to move, to bend down, and for about 15 years, she has been living with that suffering. But she is reporting here that the, when the man of God was praying yesterday, the Lord touched her and all the pain in the cervical region, in the lumbar region, all of them vanished away. And she said that today she was going up and down, bending herself, picking things from the ground, and she was very happy. And she said that may the Lord bless the GS, the GS will not die. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ça, c'est la vie abondante. That is abundant life. Quand je dis GCK, vous répondez vie abondante. When I say GCK, you say abundant life. GCK. 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 Écoutons le témoignage. Let's listen to the next testifier. Praise the 
Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Gloire à Dieu. Notre sœur, il s'appelle Adjo Dadela, elle a 32 ans. Et elle nous raconte qu'en mai 2020, elle est tombée malade. Elle a su de la maladie, elle ne se sentait plus bien. Elle avait des douleurs à l'estomac et des difficultés respiratoires. Et elle vivait avec, elle se débrouillait avec. Et elle raconte qu'en décembre 2020, à l'édition de Jessica de 2021, en décembre, le Seigneur l'a touchée pendant que l'homme de Dieu priait et par la grâce de Dieu, les douleurs à l'estomac, les douleurs, les difficultés respiratoires, tout a cessé et elle se sent bien dans son ventre. Elle arrive à respirer normalement. Gloire à Dieu. Et son deuxième témoignage est celui-ci. Avant qu'il ne vienne la croisade, une semaine avant qu'il ne vienne, elle disait qu'elle s'est baissée, elle s'est rendue compte qu'il y avait quelque chose, il y avait son nez qui coulait. Et à la suite de l'écoulement nasal, elle avait des maux de tête intenses qui ne finissaient pas. Et quand elle est venue ici, elle a dit « Seigneur, il faut que tu fasses quelque chose ». Et le jeudi, la première nuit, pendant que l'homme de Dieu priait, le Seigneur l'a touché, l'écoulement nasal s'est arrêté, les maux de tête sont aussi arrêtés et elle se sent bien depuis jeudi jusqu'à maintenant. Elle ne sent plus aucune douleur. Gloire à Dieu. Our sister here is 32 years old. Her name is uh, Dela Adjioda. In May 2020, she felt sick and after that, she is reporting that she had been feeling a lot of intense pains in her stomach and she was experiencing respiratory difficulties and she had been living with it until December edition of the GCK and during the one of the prayers of the man of God the Lord touched her and the pain in the stomach stops the respiratory difficulty also stops and she and she said that during since December until now she is feeling very fine no more pain in the stomach no more respiratory difficulty she can breathe very well and the second testimony is that before coming here She bent down a week before uh, this crusade, and she noticed that there was a discharge from her nose. And after that discharge from the nose, it was an intense and severe headache. And she had been dealing with it for the whole week. And when she came here, the first day of the crusade, when the man of God was praying, the Lord touched her. And no more discharge from the nose, headache vanished completely away, and she is perfectly fine. Praise the Lord.
no ma da pe ne ma o mi ba da pe pe amule la me se me ke ngba va fi da gbe po a enu a pe je di ni pa ve ne me pe tu ni gba tele po n po mi ba ikonji o na ma tike a e gba se un deji mu le ve ve se se ame so sa vendredi za me ka ka samedi de mu le ha yo e so mi ba fi e pa enu a gba lo ka ka ke mi ba le do gbe ra ke ka ni mu tele do gbe ra ani na pe po mu le I had a come over now, Mamma Meva Cromonia, your nine years of all. You have a Joe Troy, Cabetro City Bana, your Pobos of Barako, Guana, Jew, and Tom Sitabama, Alleluia, a very poems and a car foam. Alleluia, a G. John Swaka, Bama da Penama, so Swaka, I do a complo, blo, 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 Guana, Jew. Gloire à Dieu. Docteur, ici, voici son témoignage. Elle se sentait bien avant de venir ici à la croisade, mais le vendredi, elle ne sait pas comment ça s'est passé, elle a senti qu'il y avait quelque chose qui lui avait bloqué la gorge. Et depuis vendredi, elle est même allée à l'hôpital, mais tout ce qu'on a fait à l'hôpital, le mal de gorge ne faisait que s'empirer, rien, rien ne s'y faisait. Jusqu'à hier, lorsque l'homme de Dieu, on a d'abord fait la prière de repentance, et lorsque l'homme de Dieu s'est levé pour venir prier pour les malades, et qu'il a dit « Gloire à Dieu », elle, elle s'est levée elle aussi, elle a voulu répondre « Gloire à Dieu », et le « Gloire à Dieu » est sorti de la gorge bloquée maintenant, qui a été débloqué « Gloire à Dieu ». Et depuis hier jusqu'à maintenant, elle est contente, elle, est, elle, est, elle se réjouit énormément. « Praise the Lord ». Our sister here has her testimony. So she was fine before coming to this campground, but on Friday she did not know how it happened. But suddenly she noticed that there was something that blocked her throat. And this was difficult for her to speak and she was feeling pain. They went to hospital, but all that was done in the hospital did not solve the issue, but rather it was getting worse and worse until yesterday evening. When the man of God wanted to pray, after praying for those who wanted to give their life to Christ, when the man of God rose up to come and pray for the sick people, when the man of God said, praise the Lord, she who was not able to speak, she who was feeling pain in the throat, she also wanted to shout to, to answer the praise the Lord, and by the grace of God, her throat was open, and she also could shout, praise the Lord. And since yesterday up to now, she's very fine, no more pain in the throat. Praise the Lord. Alléluia. Amen. On va recevoir les témoignages en ligne. We will want to receive some testimonies online. The Lord is doing great things online all over, not just here in Togo, in Nigeria, and every other part of the world as well. And now we'll bring you this striking testimony coming all the way from Nigeria, South South, Akwaibom, Nigeria. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Imo James. By the special grace of God, I'm a pastor worshiping with Deeper Life in Aquaibom State Dieu, here in Nigeria. I had an uh, ulcer, je de uh, though I did not know that it was ulcer. Et je ne I had to manage with fait. other drugs until, but it started in the year 2000. I had to manage it until the year 2017. Then uh, a, a test was conducted and I was diagnosed. And it was there, I know it was. A Before coming here, she noticed that something was crawling in her left leg. And by the grace of God, yesterday night, when the man of God was praying, she was touched once again, and the thing that was crawling completely vanished away, went away, and she is fine. She can bend down. She can, she, and we have seen her. She was doing all kinds of movements, and he's saying, praise the Lord. Nous allons suivre le témoignage en ligne. En Testimonies ligne. online. Wonderful, marvelous things happening online. Through the ministration of his servant, the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, as we now hear this testimony from the United States of America, where Sonny Oye wrote, I was working out at the gym. Suddenly, I hurt my back. It was very painful. It was so bad, I was unable to work. Then I remembered the GCK. I joined the GCK, and after the last amen, I received my healing instantaneously. Sonny Oye wrote, it is pure miracle, because I can now stand straight. Praise the Lord. 
And now, remember, the man of God told us yesterday that the blind will see and the lame will work. And yes, it happened. Because we're taking you now to one of the largest cities in Africa, Ejibo, in Lagos, Nigeria, where this man you are going to see will share his testimony. He was able to walk again. Lagos, Nigeria, now broadcasting.